The Sopranos, a groundbreaking series that aired from 1999 to 2007, captivated audiences with its intricate storytelling and complex characters. Over the years, the show has become a cultural touchstone, earning critical recognition and a dedicated fan base. However, as time passes, we are reminded of the mortality of its talented cast. Sadly, the 26 actors who contributed to this iconic show have passed away, leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable performances. This tribute aims to honor their memory and celebrate their contributions to one of TV's most influential dramas. Tony Sirico in the series play Polly Walnut's Go In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on July 8, 2022 at 79. Intro. Gary Lamont of Landscaping. Do you know him? He just goes. I'll straighten it out. Ed Vassalo in the series he played, Tom Giglion. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 28 and sadly he passed away on February 25th, 2014 at 41. What the hell? I'd shut your face if I was you. You know, that makes like no sense grammatically. What? <laughs> Nancy Marchand in the series she played Livia Soprano. In 1999, when she was in the series, she was 70 and sadly she passed away on June 18, 2000 at 71. Genesis, go. Richie didn't come home last night. She's worried about him. Oh, sure. Probably jilted her. That's the story of her life. Joe Santos in the series to play Angelo Garippi. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 73 and sadly passed away on March 18, 2016 at 84. It's like paradise. I ain't like a pharaoh. I got my own room, cable TV. I have cable. My grandson, he asked me, he says, how come we never... Bruce McFeedy, in the series he played Dennis Garlurcio. In 2002, when he was in the series, he was 46, and sadly passed away on May 7, 2022, at 65. As a witness, Corin W. Jonick, supervisor of the U.S. Post Office, located at 8721 Whalen Avenue in Paramus. Would tell... Vinny Vela, in the series he played Jimmy Petrill. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 52 and sadly passed away on February 20th, 2019 at 72. I can't make that happen for you. Oh, oh, that's whoa, enough. Whoa. Philly, why don't you go have a drink? Don't tell me what to do, Jimmy. Jimmy's right. That's Frank Pellegrino in the series he played, Bureau Chief Frank Kubisoto. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 55 and sadly passed away on January 31st, 2017 at 72. I suggest in the strongest possible terms that you start telling us what you know. Frank Vincent in the series to play Phil Leotardo. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 67 and sadly passed away on September 13, 2017 at 80 years old. Take care, you know that, Tony. What you're asking, 25% of the sale price, year's salary till retirement, plus skim? <laughs> David McGillies in the series to play Neil Mink. In 2000, when he was in the series, he was 63, and sadly he passed away on January 11, 2016 at 78. Bo, if they had enough to pinch you for, there'd be bars between us right as we speak. So why do they want me to go down there? Peter Bogdanovich in the series to play Dr. Elliot Kufferberg. In 2000, when he was in the series, he was 61 and sadly passed away on January 6, 2022 at 82. First, what was so wrong with Toodaloo? It's an accepted form of goodbye. That's not the way I talk with patients. It wasn't me, it was someone else. John Hurt in the series to play Detective Vin Makazian. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on July 21st, 2017 at 71. I was taking my kid fishing. Ah, Jesus, what? No, how you been? How's it doing, Ben? What do you think? I, I, I thought we understood each other, right? I don't give two shits about you, your family. What do you take? Ron Lipman in the series to play Dr. Leo Plepler. In 2006, when he was in the series, he was 68 and sadly passed away on December 6, 2019 at 82. Come on, he snowed with Ativan. What? Why? 
control the seizures while we try to knock down the fever with antibiotics. Well, it says his temperature's down some. Anthony J. Ribastello, in the series he played Dante Greco. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 38, and sadly passed away on December 28, 2019, at 53. Medicine, food, lifted her in and out of the tub. Oh, the man's trying to eat. I'm just saying. Another life. I might have gone into healthcare. I actually enjoyed it. How about a bandage over your mouth then? Suzanne Shepard in the series she played, Mary DeAngelis. In 2000, when she was in the series, she was 66, and sadly she passed away on November 17, 2023, at 89. Easy. After all these years of marriage, you know what you find yourself thinking in your private moments? Please, God, let me die first. Tony Lip in the series he played Carmen Lupatazzi. In 2001, when he was in the series, he was 71, and sadly passed away on January 4, 2013, at 82. Caesar was an epileptic. I'm epileptic. Whatever it is, you gotta take care of yourself. It's your health. Is the psychiatrist helping? Oh, you know about that too. James Gandolfini in the series to play Tony Soprano. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 36, and sadly passed away on June 19, 2013, at 51. So what did she have to say for herself? The usual shit. Was it my fault? Robert Lupone in the series to play Dr. Bruce Kumasano. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on August 27, 2022, at 76. I want to know if you really had to cut your finger and take an oath. Ray Allen in the series she played Anne Quintina, Blundetto. In 2004, when she was in the series, she was 78, and sadly she passed away on April 6, 2022, at 95. I never thought I'd live to see this day. Well, here you are. Still here. Where's Tony? Downstairs, getting into one of his old suits. I'll buy him some new suits. He's... Greg Antonacci in the series to play Butch De Concini. In 2006, when he was in the series, he was 59, and sadly he passed away on September 20th, 2017, at 70. But he's taking this lightly, Phil. He should have been done first. They thought they'd find them both at the strip joint. I've heard this already. But I know you're disappointed, Phil. I Tom Aldrich in the series to play Hugh DeAngelis. In 2000, when he was in the series, he was 72, and sadly passed away on July 22nd, 2011, at 83. Fine with no one. In my age, it's surprise enough to be able to get out of bed every morning. So who's coming to this shindig? God damn him! Oh. Frank Albanese in the series to play Uncle Pat. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 73 and sadly passed away on December 5th, 2015 at 84. Mall, New Jersey. It's over now. She's sticking me in that home in Florida and that's the last I'll ever see of her. I'll be right down the road, Pop. I got a beautiful kind. Francis and Sam Blair, in the series she played Nucci Gutieri. In 2001, when she was in the series, she was 67, and sadly she passed away on December 9, 2017, at 83. The first. A friend of yours, Miss Cirillo, might stop by. She said she wanted to see you before you went down for lunch. Oh, cookie! Robert Lockyer, in the series she played Fitch Lamana. In 2004, when he was in the series, he was 74, and sadly passed away on December 4th, 2015, at 85. Oh, we're at the Peppermint Lounge, but in walks these two stewardesses from Brandon. Everybody's in? Ace's side. Your action, Mr. Thill. 200. Ash? They're sitting at the bar. Sylvia Carter's in the series she played Mrs. Conte. In 1999, when she was in the series, she was 78, and sadly she passed away on May 5th, 2016, at 94. Any interest? Paul Herman in the series to play, Bincy Guetta. In 2000, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly he passed away on March 29, 2022, at 76. I got something for you. What is that? 50 grand. 
Richard Romanus in the series he played Richard La Pena. In 1999, when he was in the series, he was 56, and sadly he passed away on December 23, 2023, at 80 years old. Oh, God. They tell you that they, they caught him? Thank God. What do you think when 26 actors of the series The Sopranos sadly passed away? And who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.